guys welcome back to my channel this is an overdue unboxing so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into it and get started so this particular book came out on Tuesday October 15th so I definitely got it on time but it's been a crazy month and I just what can I say excuses won't cut it so without further ado let's begin all right so here we have dun, 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 Tristan Strong punches a hole in the sky by Kwame Mbalia and I'm really excited I have a book that is written and illustrated by Kwame that is a Nelson Mandela book I think I've showed it a few times on this channel the illustrations are to die for and I'm really excited to see what was included in this box let's go ahead and open it up okay here we go okay I was like I need my scissors and I also have some other books to show you guys in this video. Just like, it's like a mini book haul too. Just books that I've picked up, managed to pick up over the past coveral, coveral several months. Ugh. There we go. This is always like the janked up part. There's no dignified and classy way to do this. At least not for me. All right. So here we are. This is the press box. It comes with this nice little postcard that basically just says, Tristan Strong punches a hole in the sky. Sorry, the dogs. You guys know my life. By Kwame Mbalia, ancient West African gods clash with folk heroes of African American lore in this powerful new series for middle grade readers. So I'm super excited by this. So it's got some nice little I call it party string, but it's not string. It's really like crinkled paper, but it's fine. Ooh, we got some peach gummies. This is right on time. I'm in a gummy, in a gummy, on a gummy kick right now. Gummy bears. I have consumed four, no, three bags of gummy bears in the past week and a half. So there's that. So this is sweet peaches with their little like branding on it so right on time for that one second let me just make sure these dogs are not killing themselves <sighs> all is well barely okay next up in the box I have this keychain it is a boxing glove it says stay strong on it cute and next up I have what are these note cards postcards it says oh it's like little kind of like trivia or little like facts printed on these really cute cards like did you know like for example this one says did you know adinkra are symbols from west african culture that are meant to represent different concepts and there's a whole bunch of them right here and they're all paper clipped together so that's really cute and then we have this orange, what looks like to be a notebook. Ooh, again with the branding on it, which I think is really cute. It's just like an orange notebook. Very appropriate for the fall. And then finally, we have the book itself right there underneath it all. So I'm just gonna take it out one second, guys. Tobey was just freaking waiting for some of that paper to fall to the ground and some did, so. His night is made. But here we have the book itself. Tristan Strong Punches a Hole in the Sky by Kwame Mbalia. Again, this is out on your bookshelves, in your books, in your on your bookshelves. Well, some for some of you, but it's out in bookstores now. Definitely go support an independent local bookstore near you and pick this up. Or you can also go to Barnes and Nobles and Amazon. I'm not going to shade you. I do it all the time. But I always like to plug on this channel to support indie bookstores where I can. But yep, here it is. And it is presented by Rick Riordan, so I think it's done by his publishing imprint and Disney Hyperion, so that's wonderful. And basically it just says, seventh grader Tristan Strong feels anything but strong ever since he failed to save his best friend when they were in a bus accident together. All he has left of Eddie is the journal his friend wrote stories in. Tristan is dreading the month he's going to spend on his grandparents' farm in Alabama, where he's being sent to heal from the tragedy. On his first night there, a sticky creature shows up in his bedroom and steals Eddie's journal. 
Tristan chases it. Is that a doll? Through the forest and a tug of war ensues by his grandmother's mysterious and off-limits bottle tree. In a last attempt to wrestle the journal out of the creature's hands, Tristan punches the tree, accidentally ripping a hole in the sky above Midpass, a volatile place with a burning sea, haunted bone ships, and iron monsters that are haunting the inhabitants of this strange world. Tristan finds himself in the middle of a battle that has left black American gods, John Henry and Br'er Rabbit exhausted. In order to get back home, Tristan and these new allies will need to entice the god Anansi, the weaver, to come out of hiding and seal the hole in the sky. But bartering with the trickster Anansi always comes at a price. Can Tristan save this world? before he loses more of the things he loves. And this cover art is absolutely stunning. Oh, black boy joy right here, honey. And it has a map. You guys know how I feel about books with maps in the beginning. I stand all the way. So yep, I am super excited. Thank you so much, Disney Hyperion, for sending this to me. And I'm super hyped for this book. Like I said, it is out now. It came out on the 15th of this month. Go pick it up. Oh, <laughs> Next up, I wanted to unbox my October Book of the Month box. You know what I'm saying. My pick for October. The Book of the Month. Let's see what I got. I feel like I did so many different English accents. Like, a little cockney, a little, like, proper. Oh, I'm telling you guys, unboxing things is mad awkward. Thank God for editing. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. Bingo! Now, when I saw this as an option, <laughs> y'all know your girl had to get it. I will give you a few <laughs> hints. It is Oprah's book club pick. There is a huge, 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 huge push for this book right now. People are raving about it online. Everybody's reading this book. This is like the new it book right now. So let me just show y'all. You probably already guessed what it is. But oh, we have the water dancer. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all know that I'm not really fond of like slave narratives or black trauma porn, but I heard so many good things about the writing, okay? And um, as a writer, okay, let me stop being an asshole. <laughs> but I've heard so many things about the writing and I am a sucker for beautiful, interesting, intricate, unique, <laughs> fill in the adjective here, writing. So when I saw that this was out and I saw that it was a choice for book of the month, it was a no brainer. I chose it, okay? I don't know when I'll read it cause y'all know how I am about overhyped books. I wait like damn near a year after the hype has died down. So we shall see, I'm avoiding spoilers right now like the plague, like I'm not reading any reviews. Y'all bookster grammars are trying to trip me up. Y'all are trying to spoil me and you know what? The devil is a liar, not today, not today. Next up is a book that you've probably seen displayed on my shelf before, but I've never actually formally introduced it to this channel. At least I don't remember doing so. If I have, forgive me. It's been mad long since I filmed and now you're gonna just see this book again, so deal with it. I have The Revolution of Bertie Randolph by Brandy Colbert. And this one was one of the ones that I pre-ordered earlier this year. I had my eye on it. It's finally out, I'm loving it. Oh, my battery's about to die. Life is so hard. But anyways, let me zoom through this freaking haul then. I'm not gonna be able to read synopsises. I know, you're so disappointed. Am I right? Am I wrong? I'm probably wrong. Goodreads link will be down below so you can check out these books. I got this one. Another highly anticipated book by Nigerian, British Nigerian author, Daughters of Nair or Niri? Niri, I think. Um, yeah, by Reni K. Amayo. This cover is beyond i mean beyond this is probably one of the most beautiful covers i've ever seen next up i have a book that i purchased when i was in new york i will get up that new york vlog one day soon maybe and this is daisy jones and the six which was everywhere for a while here on booktube earlier this year so i got this from the strand bookstore when i was in new york browsing 
So there you go. I'm not going to go into too much detail. This book is literally everywhere. Another book with a lot of controversy behind it that was also everywhere is Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. Okay, I had to cop me Ninth House. I had to do it. And I am so excited. I'm so, so excited for this. <laughs> And last but not least is my book of the month pick for last month, Bringing Down the Duke by Eve Dunmore. This is a romance, historical, another one I'm not sure if I've showed before or not. Bookstagram and Instagram are getting blurred, for, or Bookstagram and you, Booktube, wow, are getting blurred for me these days. But that's it, that's my mini haul, that's my unboxing. I'm gonna go before my battery dies. You know when that battery is blinking at you? It's so much pressure, I feel like I'm being held hostage. So, excuse me while I, show you all these books <gasps> oh. scary so scary but here they all are <sighs> it looks so beautiful when i hold it up like this all right i'm gonna go before this battery dies i will catch you guys in the next video Mwah! bye guys